So welcome back to part two of me trying to work my way through all of this stored gunpla that's in the background right here. Trying to get it all sorted into something that makes a little bit of sense bit by bit. Now last time I was going through some master grades that were off the Kallax, so I'm going to continue on with this box right here, which is exactly the same kind of pla. And I realized at this point, what the real hunt for right now is that missing kit that I've been missing for so, so long, the high grade Daryl Balder. Honestly, I have no clue where it could be at all. So this says Master Grade Gunpla Kallax. So let's try and get this one open. Oh, ho, ho, this is not neat. Oh, man. This one, this one. Whoo, she's got some... Uh... Oh, wait, it's not as bad as it looks. Hey, the Barbatos mask. That's where you are. Right, so there's definitely a lot of nice kits and figures in here that really need a sorting. Need to get up on the shelves pretty bad. Then there's the bootleg. The bootleg Strike Freedom. I can't imagine that survive too well looks good fragile as glass and i'm just kind of remembering back to the way i put this down on the desk and it's not even a desk it's just two bits of drywall strapped together with some duct tape so whew. i will slowly upgrade this place over time so this one just says actually it must be around on the other side storeroom misc pla so that doesn't say much at all so we've got Gundam GP01. Did I even build that? You know it's bad when I don't even remember if I built it or not. So yeah, it's just the GP01 in there with a little bit of papered stuff from knocking around. I guess that's probably the only master grade Stardust memory kit I built because let's just say I didn't really enjoy it all that much. The dual Gundam box is a little bit on the heavy side. So what's in here? Ah, oh, it seems to be accessories, it seems. Got some... Ooh, those are some nice decals. Those are going to waste. What? An old Warhammer 40,000 book or something? Random box. Whoa, this box is random as all hell. It's got the uh, 3D printed uh, Dane's Leaf launcher. That never went beyond being green. We've got some parts here of what? That is the God Gundam. Yeah, these need to get sorted into the boxes that they need to go into. And a lot of other bits and pieces like this here rockin' bike. So yeah, this is without a single doubt a sort me last box. So I need to have the individual series boxes ready to go before I can actually start sorting those out. Otherwise, that's not going to go anywhere. I forgot to bring a marker with me today. So I'm just going to have to put a big X on these sort me later boxes. So I know to sort them later. Next up in here, we've got the Master Grade Unicorn Verka box. So again, I have no idea what's going on in here. So yeah, it's just a bunch of unsorted accessories, like from the Master Grade, Master Grade, Master Grade Age Two Magnum, a bunch of shields and stuff off of what? I don't know. That looks like a perfect grade strike. So all this stuff would have been before I had any kind of organization whatsoever. Probably just back after I got to Ireland. So. That is also a sort me later box. Still no Daryl Balder. Okay, so everything inside of this box right here is just master grade. Well, not just master grade. It's just a whole bunch of different Gunpla accessories. So these cannot be sorted right now. And there is no Daryl Balder. So there was this one too. Just full of more bits. All right, so continuing to this master grade box. Master grade, because that's a bootleg. Man, messy bootleg at that garbage. Goodbye. So let's see what we've got. We've got some packs of the Gundam F90. That is Universal Century. Yes, it is. And we've got the Gundam Mark III, also Universal Century. So I'll be able to actually move a lot of these into a Universal Century box. These seem to be some bases. Ah, parts of that cool Samurai Gundam, the Musha Gundam. Here we've got the Hazel. That is Gundam Mark. 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 Gundam F90 itself. That is the re regrade, regrade, real grade high new Gundam. That one right there. So that's going to go over here with the real grades. Char Asnable looking uh, a little bit on the funny side. Oh man, I almost forgot about this. The absolutely awesome action figure, Mecha Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo. So yeah, that's coming right into the office with me. Metal Robot Spirits, Barbatos Lupus, 
Metal Robot Spirits, Fire Battle Collegiate Runex. There is Shy Action Base. We've got a Transformer Dracula. Accessories for the Mecha Mutant Turtle. The Giant Big Gun, the Real Grade Mega Bazooka Thingo Bobber for the Real Grade Hainu. Metal Build Ava Unit 1. Musha Gundam, Sally Hedtropus, or whatever the fuck it's called, another Hazel, Master Grade Unicorn Perfectibility, Master Grade Unicorn Verka, that's coming on the special train, another seed kit, which is the uh, Master Grade Astray Red Frame Red Dragon, is that what it's called? Nah. And the Master Grade Exia Avalanche, or Avalanche Exia, I should say. Oh! And there we go, Char's Helmet. Man, it's kits like this right here that I don't actually know how to actually sort them or where to put it because it's not Universal Century, even though it is the Oryx 78 II. But it's not, well, it's kind of like Gundam build, but not really. Because it is from that manga that I can't remember the name of. So I'll just throw it up on the screen. So I don't know where to put it. Continuing on through the labyrinth of boxes. So there's a couple of ones that look like they have potential. This one, Misc Unsorted Pla. Built. That sounds like Dariel Balde. How about this one? Misc Unsorted Pla. Built. That also sounds like Dariel Balde. And a box absolutely encased in fragile tape. That means my wife packed this one, so I don't know what's in it. An unbuilt pla. That is in Daryl Balde, but who knows? Also, I do know that some of these boxes here that said... The ones that say box full, there was ones that would have said there was space in them, so they're not exactly what it says on the box. So, this one said some space left. It says double O, but it could be in there. Well, let's not waste any more time. All right, so Misk on Sorted Plan built the first. Do we have a Daryl Valde in here? Well, at least they're in boxes, so at least it's not such a mess. What do we have here? This is not built. Oh, wait, it is built. Wow, it's been a while. What the hell? What kind of fucking sorting is this? Anywhere. Let's not look inside of that one. <laughs> All right, so Gundam Astray Inversion. Oh my, whoa. Man, towards the end of living in the last place, it got a little bit messy. It's high grade Gundam Asmo Day. You do not deserve to be in there. You need to go in the Bill Divers box. So I guess I'll take you out too. But I'll keep your box. So continuing on through that, we've got the, oh, pfft. This is what I absolutely love to see. <laughs> Past me is just fucking me over. Okay, this isn't so bad. We've got, uh, is that the, oh, it's, we've got a broken beef in. That's what happens with the early grades, or the entry grades. They're very, 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 very kind of brittle. Besides that though, there is no Daryl Balder in here. That definitely needs a sword. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I need to get this stuff together. All right, that is not a built kit at all. Absolute lies. He's back in the box properly. I'll give myself credit for that one. And let's see, we've got Kodobokia. Kodobokia. Yeah, Kodobokia kits in there. Also need to get better sort on that. And box of the Iron Spider by Morestorm. That doesn't feel like it has anything in it, but yeah, the Iron Spider itself in absolute pieces. Can I try the other box? All right. So this one is the unsorted Misk Pla built the second. The chances of Dario Balder being in here, well, I would say it's kind of high, but I feel like. It might be dwindling with every box that I open. So the, yeah, I think if it was Gunpla, I would actually say Gunpla on the box. So we've got the full Metal Panic high grades in here. Yeah, they're just hanging out in there. It's probably a whole bunch. Nope, just the single finished Jukemon kit. 
Oh man, now that, whoa, that right there, that is a blast from the past. I absolutely forgot about their existence. Absolutely ridiculous things right here. Never did actually build the assault rifle versions. Well, what do you know? The poor type panel liners, they do actually bleed over time. I thought they didn't compare to the marker style panel liners, but yeah, the colored ones totally bleeding. Also, these are ABS. Never put those markers on them because they break. All right. What else do we have in here? It lies again. This is not built. Some iron blooded orphans accessories. Yep. It's in the real grade high new box. That I'm curious about. It's actually mildly grim. Uh, I think that might. Oh, no, nah, it's not as grim as it looked at first. Yeah, these poor little real grades right here have just been kind of hanging around. They got knocked around a little bit, but nothing is actually broken, thankfully. These should have been packed individually, but these. Man, I don't know how long ago these are from. But a long long time definitely all the parts are still in here just some uh, assembly required as soon as i'm actually putting together a bit of a real grade storage box i'll actually put these to the side for now and keep them a little bit better than they're kept right now so yeah i guess all i can really do with this situation is try and just look through these boxes and see what i find storeroom misc pla maybe this one also looks like it's like been cursed and these look like, you know, the sort of Japanese seals you do to keep the uh, demon in. Ah, which one to check? Well, this one's just a box of friggin' like runners. You know when you've got like a couple of fun bits still left on a runner and you're like, oh, they could, they could be useful in future. And uh, you snip them out and hold on to them. Well, this is that, except I never got around to snipping them out. So it's just a box full of runners. Okay, that's not for right now. Storeroom misc pla. What do you mean? Is this misc pla built? What do we have? These are boxes of built kits. Mm. Potential or no potential? Something tells me that the Daryl Baldy never went up into the storeroom, so I don't think it's in that. Ugh. But yeah, maybe I'll just get some sorting of some seed kits, I guess. All right, so what do I have in here? That is not a seed kit. So I think as of right now, it's just high grades and master grades in a box together. This is unsorted. I've got a couple of seed kits over here now. So that is Eclipse. Anyway, yeah, we've got an astray over here. Got to get those sorted into it. Okay, so mostly full, you are yeah, all full now and we're gonna make you less full. But first, you're going to be seed master grade. Uh, MG up here. Master grade seed. And this one right here. This one is going to be high grade seed. That makes more sense. Easier to find what I want when I need it. Okay, so what's in our miscellaneous seed box? I am actually quite excited. It's like some kind of weird Christmas, but when everything that you're unwrapping is something you own already. All right, let's see. What do we have? I see a lot of Master Grades. You are not Gundam Seed. And that's not Gundam Seed either. What the hell is wrong with me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, fuck all of this is Gundam Seed. Um... Yeah, that's lies. Okay, so taking out the kits that are actually seed kits. Oh, Gundam Wing. So you can go in the Gundam Wing box that I have over further. You are Universal Sentry, so yep. You can go here because the Universal Sentry box is underneath this box right now. Okay, focus, focus. I need to uh, walk before I can run. So I need to take the non-Master Grades out of the Master Grade box first and put it down here in what is going to be the High Grade box. Okay. okay, let's see what we've got. What's inside of the Master Grade slash Zaku Phantom box. So that is actually Master Grade Zaku's. Okay, so that is going to go in the 
or should I say stay in the master grade box. This is Victory Gundam and Gundam F91. That is Universal Century, so I guess that's gonna have to go in the Universal Century pot. Even though I always, always forget that Victory is Universal Century. I would think it's something separate entirely. Let's see what's inside of the mobile Jin? Is it Jin or Gin? I always forget. It's Jin, right? Jin, 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 Jin. Jin. Alright, so that is more Master Grade kits. So, is that the Strike Remaster? Oh no, it's the Lightning Strike. Okay, so those are our Master Grades. And, continuing along, what's inside of this box? We've got. Oh, these are really well organized. Well, well by my standards. Mm, yes. Clamby Gundam. I guess it's uh, Mirage Coiloiding or whatever you call it. All right, so next one, the last impulse box. Is this high grades? That is high grades. Okay, so they're gonna go down into the high grade box when I can actually get to it. Wow, seriously. Check this out. I've built a kind of storage box out of boxes for these guys to literally just stand inside of. So there we've got a red frame, the regular kind, and the red frame Kai as well in there. Okay, well, if it ain't broke, that box is fine. Next up we've got the Raider Gundam box. So what do we have inside of this? That is more one 100 scale. Actually, I should have put it as one 100 scale, not master grade per se. Ah, future me will not understand, I'm sure. Or will I? So yeah, it seems like my collection of one, or should I say even the range of one 100 seed kits is far beyond what I actually knew it was. This isn't even all of them, and well, that box was pretty much already full. So I think I'm gonna have to have one box that's a mix of both. Damn, how, how am I gonna sort these? Okay, for now I'm just gonna go with Master Grades purely in one, Master Grade, High Grade Accessories mix in the other one. That's my plan. Alright, so that's as much as I'm going to actually fill up this box right here because I don't want to actually stack any of these on top of each other. I want them just kind of standing side by side. I definitely need to build some more 1-100 or master grade kits so I can harvest the boxes so I can kind of sandwich them up this side here. Maybe smaller master grade boxes, you know, like the wing kits or something like that. Maybe large high grades. As for these guys, I found the bootleg. It's heavy and it actually held up well. Uh, good job, Deban or Dragon Momoko who, or whoever made you. Okay, so now in this box, what do I've got? I've got a bunch of age kits. I think I might consider the age magnum right there an age kit for the sake of packing it away. Wait, no, maybe divers. Nah, keep it with divers. And we've got a couple of other kits as well. So there's UC kits, so let's get them put away. Yeah, in a way, my goal with these videos right here is to kind of make a kind of, you know, where it came from and where it's going to go with this. I want to really build this into one hell of a workshop looking really kick ass. Maybe with a bit of a sci-fi hangar or spaceship or something like that kind of vibe of the overall thing. Right now, it's just dilapidated, or should I say dilapidated, dilapidated crap shack. Uh, but yeah. It's interesting to kind of document what it looks like right now. It's essentially just a dump. Anyway, that's another box for the junk pile. All right, Kyokai Senki box. Big old Kembu, absolutely monster of a kit right here. This is fantastic. If you've completely like not giving Kyokai Senki a chance because of the anime or whatever, I say buy that one. Full mechanics, killer kit. <laughs> Yeah, past me, I'm feeling exactly the same way right now. This has lots of space, so it could have something popped in it. 
Looks like it just popped in a Digimon. Some kind of Master Grade style Macross kit, but don't see any Daryl Ball there. All right, so this was my real grade box. Uh, yeah, I could do with a sandwich. Maybe I'll just stick that like, on myself so that uh, I can look back at it and be like, sandwich needed. If anybody sees me, I might get a sandwich. And this is now the new real grade box. It's got more space, hopefully enough, for what is inside of here. Not including this guy. It's gonna have to go into some kind of random ass, random ass, random ass box at some point. Okay, so if it's in an old funky box like this, that means that this stuff is from a long time ago. So the sorting may not be the greatest. <laughs> Let's rescue you from in there for now. Pop you down there. That's an awful lot of space just for you on your own. Maybe I can sort something a little better. I should have brought some sandwich bags. Hey, is that what that means? On this one, we've got ah, most of the real grade Evangelion kits plus extra. So uh, yeah, this before I was actually sorting them properly with sandwich bags and all of that sort of stuff. So this will definitely need a resorting later, but it's, it's, it's good for now. Let's get the Mark 06 in with its new roomies, I think. That is all of the real grade Ava kits that I built in there. Yeah, it needs better sorting. So yeah, this will definitely be a to be continued box right here. I'll get back to this sometime when I'm doing a better bit of a sort. Everything in here is kept well enough that it won't be destroyed or damaged, so that's good enough for me for right now. Definitely need to get a real great display going. There's some of the greatest kits that are out there, so kind of storing them in a box like this is an absolute waste. But hey, it's better than them getting damaged or anything like that, so they can stay in here for a little while. And once I get this place up and running properly, I'll get them out with a big kick-ass shelf. Okay, so continuing on with some more poorly labeled boxes. This one has a bit of masking tape on it instead of fragile tape. So that means that uh, I took a look at it before. The fragile tape means that my wife packed it. So I'm guessing I probably took one look in it and went, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. get open. And what do we have in here? Oh, this looks random. This looks extremely random. Oh, that Goku. That's a good model kit. Hmm, they haven't done anything with that line yet. I, they need to make a Vegeta. Okay, this is random. Super random. Oh, there's definitely some UC kits in here. Rebow. We got that. Beyond Global Gundam. I left his V-Fin on. Thankfully, it's not broken. Master Grade Ball. Just random bits. Okay, let's start this one. All right, so who do we have? Oh, yes, the sexiest Gundam of all time, which isn't a Gundam. That's a bad slip of the tongue. We've got the Beyond Global in here. We've got one of my Master Grade RX-78 3.0s. I need that for size comparison, so good to have that. These are things that were right beside my desk with those ball kind of 30 minute mission guys. The Dummy Balloon. Oh shit, this is one of my customs. This but yeah, let's get you over to where the other customs are. Oh. The ultimate tripod. It's all good, just needs more tape. Let's get you taped onto the tripod a little better. I left the stand inside and yes, I am that lazy. I will not go in and get it. Instead, I will tape this right on there. Good as gold. Okay, rebound. Rebound needs to be rebuilt. Ooh. We've got classic, uh, can't even see the screen anymore because of all the tape. Hentai Woody. Uh... Bullshit, a pair of, <laughs> what the fuck is this bag? Oh, it's just bits and bits and bits, Master Grade Ball. Oh, there's another one, the Customs. So my phone just ran out of storage there and I had to delete a really cool video of a fly eating a spider. I mean, a spider eating a fly that I had taken, uh, but it's worth it for this reveal right here. It has been found. Finally, after all of that, the high-grade Daryl Ball Day has been found. It was just in a random box of stuff that wasn't labeled with other things like this badass right here and the real-grade Gal Gar, which I'm going to put into the real-grade box. But, uh, yeah, it's been found. So, yeah, at this point, then, the camera just outright died on me fully. Well, it didn't die, it's just the storage of my phone was full. So, what can I say? I found the Daryl Balde finally. So, that's the last high-grade 
G Witch kit that I just did not have knocking around. So now I have them all out here so I can take a look and finally make a good old ranking of the best G Witch kits, which will be coming sometime later in the week, if not early next week. So if you are still on the fence about what kits you want from this particular show, I will make that list and make it soon. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more Gunpla content, and I will see you next time.